Let A be the number of trees in a forest at time t in years. If A is decreasing at a rate given by the equation, the derivative of A with respect to t is equal to minus 3 times the function A. And if A evaluated at a time of 0 is equal to 10,000, then what is the function a of t? So an equation like this, where the derivative is essentially proportional to the function, we know that the function has to be an exponential function. And the way to figure out what it is, is to realize that this is what's called a separable differential equation. And what that means is that we can take this equation and essentially put the two differentials, dA and dt, on different sides and then integrate with respect to those different differentials. So dA over dt we know is equal to minus 3 times a. So if I multiply each side by dt, they can cancel out over here so that we have dA is equal to minus 3 times a dt. And we need to get a on the same side as dA. So let's divide each side by a so that we have dA over a is equal to minus 3 dt. And from here we can just integrate each side. The left-hand side will integrate with respect to a, and the right-hand side will integrate with respect to t. So the left-hand side evaluates to the natural log of the absolute value of a plus some constant, though when we integrate the right-hand side, we'll also get a, a constant. And we can essentially just combine them in the end to make one constant. So I'll just put the constant on the right-hand side. And integrating this expression, we have minus 3 times t. And then plus c. And from here, we can just exponentiate each side of this equation. So e to the natural log of this absolute value of a is just the absolute value of a, and this equals e to the minus 3t plus c. And thinking about this absolute value, we know that a always has to be a positive number since we're dealing with the number of trees in a forest. So in other words, we can just get rid of the absolute value bars and it won't change the problem. So this is equal to a is equal to, and for the right-hand side, since the exponent is a sum, we can separate this into e to the c times e to the minus 3t. And e to the c is just some new constant. And we could just call this b here. So we have b times e to the minus 3t. And to figure out b, we're given in the initial problem that the function a evaluated at a time of 0 is equal to 10,000. Or in other words, when the forest starts at time 0, there are 10,000 trees. So plugging 0 in for t and 10,000 in for a, we can figure out what this constant should be. So 10,000 is equal to b times e to the 0, which is 1. So our function a of t is simply 10,000 times e to the minus 3t. And this is our final answer.